In a previous video, I showed you this list of motivational quotes, spreadsheet quotes, famous spreadsheet quotes, and how we got them onto this website, .card.co, and every time we refresh it, we're going to get a brand new spreadsheet quote from this list. But what if you wanted to keep this private or you wanted to send this to a very special person, maybe yourself? So I want to show you how to do that in this video. We're going to go to App Script extensions app script, open it up, and we already have the embed code from the last video here, we don't need that, and we have the code already to get a random quote. But how do we email it to ourselves? The key here is we do not need the do get function, but we do want function email daily. And this is pretty simple, we're gonna use at the end mail app, send email. And the send email function is only take three things. We need a to, someone sending it, who we're sending it to. We need a subject and a body of that message. The to will be us, which whenever you're using this app script, we can do variable to equals, I think it's gonna be session dot get active user. This should get a email address of the user. We can always check this out by doing logger.log2, and we can see if that is the case. We will also use variable subject. We can put the random quote here if we want, or we can put it in the body or both. So actually, I'm gonna put it in both the body and the subject and see how that goes. So when we run this for the first time, we're going to have to approve it, but we're gonna see if, we wanna see this logger, if this user is really getting just the email address of whoever is creating this app script, which in our case, it's gonna be us. Once we authorize it, it came back with this perfect, it is exactly me, this session.getActiveUser is getting our email address, but we do have an issue with get random quote. I think we're getting, I think we need two string, I think. Let's see if this might be too much. Let's try to run it again. Oh, actually, I think the issue is we need to, to string the dot two, two dot two string. I think that's the issue here. Or, actually, we just need get email. We don't need to string, sorry. That was weird. But now we should just get email, and if we run it, we shouldn't get that error. Perfect. So if we checked our email, we can see it. And this is what our email looks like. The subject is the quote, and the body is the quote. It's actually a different quote in this case. So what we can do is change this subject to today's quote. We can even add new date to make it a different, absolutely different subject each and every time. I'm gonna save that and run it. And here we see this unformatted date is here. So we can always format this date in a nicer way. We're gonna wrap it with utilities.formatDate. We're just gonna give it a format here. We want month, month, actually we want day, day, mm, year, year. And we need to end the parentheses here. And let's see if that works again. I think we need to use GMT here and maybe this. So now let's see if this works. We'll save it. Make sure it's saved. This orange button is going away. We'll run it and should have an email. Perfect. Our date is formatted well and we only have one quote here. Perfect. We're getting a random quote emailed to us. But now how do we do this every day? Email daily is only going to run when we click run function. Well, what we can do here is go over to the left and click on triggers. We can go to the bottom right add trigger, and we're gonna choose which function to run. In our case, it's gonna be email daily. And the event source, instead of from spreadsheet, we're gonna use time-driven. We want to do it every day, so we'll use day timer, and we'll set a time period. In our case, we want it before we start work, so something around 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. You pick an hour, and the very first time it runs, it'll be a completely random time within that hour, and then every time after that, it'll be 24 hours later. So we'll hit save. And now I'll get an email every day giving me that motivational quote, a random one every day until I turn off this trigger. If you're looking for the code and the quotes as well, if you'd like the quotes, check out the sheet down below if you're on Better Sheets. If you're not on Better Sheets and watching this, go join bettersheets.co and get the sheet and the script all together, everything all at once.